On this channel, we've seen numerous chatbot creation tools like BotPress, DeFi, and even custom GBT. However, the challenge is that they're either too complex for beginners or they come with a hefty price tag. But today, I have a solution that simplifies this whole process. This is where I would like to introduce Denser AI, an easy and accessible way to create custom AI chatbots. With Denser AI, it offers cutting edge AI powered chat capabilities that cater to various needs, whether you're building a personal chatbot to interact with your files, or automating customer service, or even boosting lead generation. Denser AI has you covered. It's a platform that's quite precise, efficient, and scalable. Plus, it integrates quite well with your website as well as with platforms like Shopify as well as Wix. Now, in this video, I'll demonstrate how you can easily create your personal custom AI chatbot for a variety of use cases in just a few steps, and I'll showcase how you can actually export them to your website. So with that thought, let's straight dive into this video. What I want you to do is head over to the Denser AI website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Once you are here, you can click on the start for free button, which will help you create an account with Denser for free. So simply just click on this button, it will take you to this page where you can sign up with your Google, Facebook, or your email address. And once you have done that, we can then proceed forward with the next step. After you create your account with Denser AI, you'll then be sent over to this main dashboard where you're going to be easily able to create your chatbot. Now, when I say it's super easy to create chatbots with Denser, it is super easy. You can do this within a couple of clicks. So click on the create new button and you'll then be sent over with this option where you can choose between two different sources. You can either choose websites, which it will scrape through different websites recursively or on a one basis. And it will basically collect website data for you. And it will basically build a chatbot based off the link that you provide it. In the same manner, you can do it with the, the files that you upload so in this case you can upload pdfs txt csv as well as many others so you can choose between the option that is best fitted in this case i'll showcase a simple example of me uploading a couple of files so there's this pdf that explains what the channel is about so i have actually fed it into denser ai and i'm going to now click on the build now button so i fed it the knowledge base or the context and now we have denser ai starting to create the chatbot now what you can do is you can start chatting with it right away or you can go back and you can manage it so that you can customize it so in this case this is where you can customize the appeal of the chatbot so that you can export it as a link and so that other people can actually utilize it you can change the theme from light dark or you can even customize it with your own preference you can utilize different gpts right now it is utilizing the gpt for omni but soon they're going to have access to the new open ai 01 model you can have it so that lead section is on so that it can collect customer information and this is a way for you to actually create uh, a customer service lead generation chatbot in this case this is not the purpose for it so we'll turn it off you can add a chatbot icon so let me go ahead and do that so there we go i configured the icon to put my logo in there and i added a couple of suggestion questions that people can basically select to ask now the initial message that is sent over to people is welcome to the world of ai youtube channel chatbot how may i ask you so in this case you can ask your questions what is world of ai and it'll then provide an answer so if you want once we have saved this we can actually go back to the chatbot and it will then revert to the changes that we've made and you're going to be able to ask questions i forgot to save the last bit so now we have the ability to get that welcome message that we set previously and we're going to be able to ask the suggested questions so in this case we can ask what is world of ai so now it's going to reference the chatbot's uh knowledge base which is the context that I provided and in this case it's referencing that pdf that I provided so in this case it's giving me a summary of this and it will also provide the source now say if you are going to be utilizing this chatbot for lead generation you can head over to the lead tab and you're going to be able to see that this is where you're going to be able to collect different leads from so in this case if you have it on your main page where you're inquiring about your customers information it will then be collected and sent over to the leads page where it can collect the field name the field description that you set it's going to also provide the name as well as the email or whatever sort of fields that you basically set you can create your own field by clicking on this blue button over here and you can specify the field that you want to extract so this is a great way for you to get a lot of leads 
with this chatbot service. And if you go to the query logs, you're going to be able to see all the different queries that have been sent to your chatbot. If you go to integrations, this is where you're going to be able to implement your chatbot into various integrations like Slack, you have Zapier, Shopify, as well as your website. You can get the code simply by clicking on get code. It'll provide the HTML so you can simply copy this and then you can export it into your website. And this is easy as that by simply just copying the widget as well as the chatbot and embedding it into your website. You can also manage the access to your chatbot. You can have it so that there's three different control types private, public, and invite based only. Public is where anyone can access it. Private is so that only the owner can access it or whoever has access to the account. And invite basis is where you can invite certain people with an email address. Now, in terms of an API key, you can see that it utilizes the RESTful API where Dancer's RESTful API provides a programmable interface for your chatbot. You can use it to build public, private, as well as uh, different apps with it, workflows and integrations on top of Denser, which is really useful. And they have a documentation which goes forward in explaining the RESTful API. The last thing I want to talk about is the data storage. This is where you're going to be able to edit your data storage, where you can add or even subtract your previous files that have been added to your chatbot. This is where you can simply just rebuild your chatbot to the new files you have added and it will basically reply with the context of the new files you've uploaded. And this is how you can edit your chatbot to newer data as well as newer context. And that's basically it with Denser AI. That's how you're going to be easily able to implement the creation of an AI chatbot into your website. And one thing you can also do is head over to integrations and install Zapier into Denser AI. What this will basically do is that it will utilize Zapier, which is a workflow automation software, and it automates your work across many different apps. And those apps can be integrated within your chatbot. So something that they have done within their docs is that you can easily enable Zapier and you can do this with the integrations tab where you can install it and this will simply integrate Zapier workflows into your chatbot where you can simply log in and they show how you can easily automate various things with integration of Zapier such as automating data analysis you can set triggers so that it could basically automate various functionalities such as sending emails to your customer or having it so that leads are extracted to a Google Sheet this is the flexibility that you get when you integrate something like Zapier. The great thing with Denser is that you can use it in various ways. You can integrate it for educational use cases, for technical use cases, or even as a knowledge base where you can chat with your files. And this is something that many people tend to have troubles with, how to create a custom GPT so that you can chat with your files. Because many people have lots of data which requires lots of time to actually analyze. And they basically want to have it so that AI could be implemented so that it could automate the process process of asking questions or searching through long pieces of data to find the relevant information. This is why people want to search for creating chatbot tools and this is where Denser comes into place where you can easily upload your context and you're going to be able to easily chat with your data. And that's about it for today's video on Denser AI. Overall, this is a great platform that offers cutting edge AI powered chat capabilities and it caters to various use cases. Like we saw, it's something that is quite easy to create within a couple of seconds, which you saw, and it's something that you can embed into your website as well as with multiple integrations. Now, I definitely look forward into making another video where we can showcase potentially the integration of Zapier and where you can automate a lot of things with this. So stay tuned for that. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on Denser AI. This is a great platform that you can easily get started with today for free so definitely take a look at the link in the description below but that's it for today's video make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free follow me on twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the ai space but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas